Now go to Rio de Janeiro, where our special correspondent Stephanie Kennedy continues to follow these elections. Stephanie, good evening from Caracas. What do you have for us? Good afternoon. Well, we bring you this report from the center of Rio in an area called Cinelandia, famed for its cinemas and theaters. And we have come to this part of town to speak to Brazilians to see how they feel the day after last night's first round of Brazil's general elections. Now, the initial analysis is that Dima Rousseff of the Workers' Party dominated in the north and northeast of the country, an area which is a stronghold of the Workers' Party, thanks in great part to the legacy of the Lula da Silva government, which pushed forward numerous social programs such as uh, services in electricity, water distribution and housing. Conservative candidate Aesio Neves took over in the South. Now, the media also this morning woke up to the same editorial line. Although it showed the results from last night, it's also continuing its and sustaining its battle against Dilma Rousseff. So the Workers' Party now need to evaluate how they were pushed forward in their campaign. I'd like to leave you now with this report on some of Rio's first reactions to the election. I'm Stephanie Kennedy. This is Rio. Brazil's deployment of an automated voting system for its 2014 presidential elections ensured that voting was swift and efficient. In less than four hours following the closing of the polling stations, Brazil already knew who would be fighting the final battle for the presidency. However, not everybody was happy with the results. I would have preferred Marina to have gotten through, but now we need to wait for the results of the second round to see who will be the candidate chosen by the Brazilian people. The elections were also marked by 29% of abstentions, null and blank votes, denting the margin of the Workers' Party's victory. It's not just about who the candidates are, but also about the responsibility of who is... According to Vito Gianotti, a journalist and leftist militant in Rio, powerful groups in the country, including the corporate media, continue to have an important influence over many sectors of society. They will not permit the triumph of the left, in any shape or form, for Brazil, because a victory in Brazil means the whole left in Latin America will be strengthened. The left in Venezuela, Bolivia, Uruguay, Argentina, Ecuador, the right won't permit this victory. The next round will be a very hard battle of the right against the left. The future of Brazil now lies at a crossroads, a choice between the old neoliberal Brazil represented by candidate Aesio Neves or the progressive left led by current president Dilma Rousseff. Brazilians will return to the ballot box October 26th. Stephanie Kennedy, Telesur, Rio. And thanks to Stephanie.